What's up ladies and gentlemen, I'm Abdul Mois and today I'm going to show you how you can fix an iPhone, iPad or iPod touch that is stuck on this Apple logo. So without wasting any time, let's jump right into the video. So right now I'm on iOS 9 and I tried to reset all my settings and data by going into settings, general and then reset and after doing it, I'm stuck at this Apple logo. So if you're also stuck at this Apple logo after jailbreak or after installing a CDA tree or any other app in general or you also did the same what I did then you don't have to worry it's a really simple fix. Unfortunately you lose all your data if you haven't backed up your device. But if you have backed up your device on iTunes or on iCloud then you are good to go. So first of all you have to put your device in recovery mode. You have to unplug your device from your computer and turn it off completely. To turn it off completely, you have to press the power and home button at the same time, the screen will turn off. Now, when it is turned off, press the home button and plug in your device into your computer. You have to plug your device in when you are holding the home button. Keep holding the home button until you see iTunes logo on your screen. Once you see iTunes logo on your screen, iTunes will pop up letting you know your device is in recovery mode. Now click on upgrade and iTunes will first download the latest firmware for you and then your device will be restored to the newest firmware and you will get rid of this Apple logo. I have the latest firmware downloaded on my computer so instead of downloading it through iTunes again I will press shift on my keyboard if I am using Windows or option if I am using Mac and then at the same time I will click on update. This will allow me to browse the firmware that I have downloaded on my computer. If you also don't want to download the firmware through iTunes and instead want to download like I did, I will put the link of the website in my video description from where you can download the firmware. Please make sure you are downloading the latest firmware or else you will get an error on iTunes. If you guys have any confusion or having any problem following the procedure, please let me know in the comment section below. I will be more than happy to help you guys out. So that's pretty much it for this video. If this video helped you guys, be sure to hit that thumbs up. That really helps me. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button to watch more videos like this one. You guys have a great time. Until next time, this is Abdul Moiz signing out.